downloading latest intel package. Welcome back. I was getting worried about you. Agent Academy, Episode 6, recorded on December 5th, 2017. I'm Agent Soho. And I'm Agent Goonie Guy. And uh, here it is, number six. Lots of big things today. Oh my god, prime. This is prime time to do uh, an episode. It's Tuesday Day Football. Prime time? No. Prime, prime time. I think I want a prime rib for lunch. Mm, mm, mm. So tell us what we can look forward to. Uh, Prime, apparently. We're going to talk about Prime. Some Amazon Prime? <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, prime numbers? Mm. Uh, no. Anomaly. There was anomaly. Now, I don't know why I'm talking like this. It just happened. Anyway, so uh, there's a lot going on. So let's go ahead and check out the situation report. Sit rep, sit rep, sit rep, sit rep. All right, so sit rep is uh, news events and things that we did this week and um, all kinds of good stuff like that. So um, diving right into the Prime, Ingress Prime has been announced and uh, there's a Verge article that's really good um, that uh, kind of shows, um, uh, well, it talks about all the things that we can look forward to. Um, of course, there's a, uh, a new trailer, uh, but it also um, talks about that there's going to be a new storyline or a revamped storyline anime he said the general, general. yeah that uh there's an anime in the works which will kind of help explain the uh the story um and uh without i think the quote was uh, without spending you know 200 million dollars on a hollywood movie uh you can really get immersed into the world um with an anime and i think that's a great idea and uh maybe that'll kind of spin off to uh, comic books and other types of media um, there's no uh, no release date on the anime, um, but uh, I'm looking forward to that. And there is just so much stuff surrounding this. Um, there's some leaked videos uh, showing. So if you went to the anomaly, um, you you uh, apparently got to see firsthand the uh, the client, the um, Ingress 2.0 client, and a couple of people filmed it and. Uh, they um, got to see all kinds of cool stuff. What, what did what did you think about the the shininess of of two point I thought it was good. I thought there's it, it definitely looks better. Like the only concern I really have is is it going to work on some older phones? Like I would assume that it's just going to work on the same phones that that like Pokemon Go works on now, right? That it won't mm-hmm. all be able to work on your your iphone 4 and maybe it shouldn't uh but i know ingress is like one of those games where uh, people have multiple phones and, and accounts to um not accounts but <laughs> phones to, yeah. to um like play in different areas so like different cell networks and things like that uh and so usually their backup phone's a real crappy phone because they don't want to spend a thousand bucks on two phones yeah true um so uh, a lot of people are saying oh man this is gonna be a battery hog like like pogo um i mean the thing is it's like you push the technology to the current limits and the current limits is it's such that phone i mean phone batteries are getting better you know just storing energy um everybody has a charger too right so right yeah and it's like if if these are the games that need to be on all the time accessing gps and stuff like that so like if you don't have a, f- a battery plugged in while you're playing, then you will certainly you will certainly learn to do that very soon. Um, so I, I've never I I will never complain about battery life. Do everything you can, Niantic, make it awesome. Drain that battery because we we are ready for you. <laughs> you know, uh, so I, I think it's great. I th- I think it's really cool that you can zoom in on the portals. Um, that there's key management now, which is super exciting. We talked about that on the show. Uh, how much we wanted that. Um, there's also uh, a single finger rotate. You can rotate the screen with one finger, um, which is just uh, a, a nice touch. <laughs> I think a lot of people actually requested that too. Well, and it was, and, um, I mean, that was one thing from Pokemon Go that everybody liked. So they were like definitely asking for it, right? Anything you like in Pokemon Go, you're going to assume you can get it in 2.0 if it works well and, and goes with the game. Right, right. 
Uh, and um, I don't know. I, I think it's just uh, it, it's it's very polished. It looks very modern. Um, there, there was, you know, I didn't see a comms section like a chat. Did you? Did you? I didn't. And I'm wondering if they're going to just pull that because that's something that you know their newer games don't have. And they said they've learned a lot of stuff from the new games, mm-hmm. and it would probably help deal with uh, comm scraping things like that. So yeah. I wonder if they're going to do something else besides comms to show when people do certain things, but it'll be visual and possibly not scrapable. Right. Um, you know, the thing I always say about comms is usually I see a fight, <laughs> you know, right. red, red and, you know, yeah, they're, I mean, uh, blue and, blue and uh, green, they're just kind of like, you know, someone would be like, uh, you know, thanks, I'll be back, you know, after work to to put that back up or I always see little snarky remarks and I scroll up and I'm like, wow, I just scrolled up just a little bit and there's, there's six month old, uh, data here, which means people really don't use it. It, I, I wouldn't mind if it just went away altogether. Plus there's no way to DM people. And I think that's the more important thing. If, if you want to really contact somebody, there's really no way to do that. You have to say it out loud. Hey, you know, um, and oh, and also the weird workaround where you have to ping somebody's name just to look at their profile. I mean, you know, yeah. that's kind well, of lame too. So. Hopefully, Evertune will fix that, right? With all their new uh, community. Oh yeah, Evertune. Yeah, yeah, that's and right. Integrations and and social stuff. And we also have a in our chat room, uh, Nag Suetan. I don't know if I have that anywhere near near correct, but it says there's still comms. It's hidden behind the Ingress logo menu thingy, which is where you get to. Uh, all your stuff that your ops mm. button now is now the ingress logo so really back there oh okay but i i agree with you like really what's the use of comms besides mm-hmm. you know that data of what's going on and, and if your portal's getting attacked or and things like that but it seems like that could be shown in a different way and the only time people actually communicate is to go hey go check the slack out you know there's, there's info right. in there. It's like, go talk somewhere else because this is not a good place to chat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. So they also got a uh, sign-up page for Ingress P- Prime. So if you go to ingressprime.com, um, you can sign up there. And I'm not sure what the sign-up is for. For Is it beta? Is it for new players? Are you going to have to re-sign up? I would assume everything would just kind of pull over so it wouldn't matter. So I'm assuming either beta or new players. I'm hoping it's beta, um, but but then again, I, I'm hoping that this is so so close to being released that uh, we don't have to wait for a whole beta cycle. I do want it to be nice and bug free, obviously. So I guess a beta would be good. But either way, I just want it in my hands as fast as possible. Well, how close do you think they are? I mean, from that from the leaked video, it was just over and over again. It seemed like, oh well, that's not ready to show yet. Oh, we you know can't do right. that. We're still working on this. We're still working on that. And I didn't know if that was you know, stuff that they can uh, do quickly mm-hmm. <coughs> or if it's going to be, you know, months and months down the road. Right. Um, yeah. I don't know. Uh, what is this December? So we got the whole month here to go and then we got January, February, March. I think maybe um, uh, I think realistically I- I'm going to go with uh, March. I- I'm just going to throw that out there. I'm going to say like three, a good three months of, um, of testing uh, let's look at March. So are we and doing we'll a pool? Should we do a pool of when will ingress? It's like when someone has a baby, we'll have a <laughs> an ingress pool and we'll give away $25 gift certificate to whoever gets closest. How about that? Yeah. Well, do they sell like we can get the gift certificates from circle K, but I don't know how long that's good for. So we'll see. Oh, yeah. Either yeah, a gift certificate or $25. That's the same thing. Basically. Okay. And that that's pretty good. Um, so uh, tell us you, the month and day. It's got to be the month and day. Don't be as vague as I am. Should they add uh, a time? Just as like if two people get the same month and day. Sure. Hey, if yeah, yeah. More, the more the merrier. <laughs> a tiebreaker um, of some sort. <laughs> right. An actual time. So send these in to us uh, next week. Just, you know, the normal way. Speakpipe.com slash Agent Academy. Or you could tweet it to us. Uh, all the multitudes of ways. So um, that that's a great little fun uh, thing here. <laughs> all right, let's do that. Okay. 
Um, and uh, let's see. Also, we have. Uh, oh yeah, you want to talk about the anomaly? The the oh the anomaly. Uh, cool stuff. So well, I guess if you're enlightened, it's cool stuff, right? <laughs> So, and we have the scores here. Let's show those up there for uh, Osaka. Um, well, I, just for the whole anomaly, Enlightened end, ended up winning. And you can see the scores if you're watching the video. Uh, if not, just go to in, Investigate uh, Ingress and you can see the scores there. Not really much more to go in, into that except for, you know, at San Francisco, it was one of the, the prime locations and there was a bunch of videos that came out of it from the personalities who showed up there. Uh, the acolyte, um, uh, PA chapeau. Uh, mm-hmm. I finally heard someone say it on. So, okay. So that's what so we're now you know how to say it <laughs> unless they said it wrong. Right. Right. Um, and anyway, a bunch of people, uh, Hanky had a, uh, or not Hanky, but, uh, <laughs> um, uh, there were uh, tons of videos out there and I'm trying to think before the um, anomaly, there was a, a Hank's uh, global challenge. He also did a video, but there was a global challenge of getting all the uh, Intel, I guess packets, but basically it had to do with areas that had MU challenges. Whoever got the most MU between these uh, checkpoints and actually it wasn't the most MU it was the most, change of MU. So mm-hmm. the strategy we used here in our local area to help win the global was to stop fielding and let our fields drop and let blue start fielding before the first CP check. And we just let them roll. Just let them. Basically, you wanted them to build up as high a score as they could, right? Because mm-hmm. as soon as it went go time, you could drop those fields and also only they're in the negative. They're not in the positive anymore at all. They're just in the negative. And then everything we build on top of that. And so I think we ended up winning like all of those as well uh, across the globe. Uh, someone's going to have to double check that on me. We can come back next week with the the real answer on that. <laughs> <laughs> but I just remember watching at the time, talking with people. It, it looked like we won uh, most, if not all of those. And I don't know what that had to do. I never heard what that actually had to do. In the actual anomaly, though, I mean, I assume that the, the leaders in the local areas got some intel and other things. Oh, thank you, uh, Nang Suaton, and I'm going to get that wrong. Uh, it said eight out of ten. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's that's awesome. And JBJ wow. Blaze is in the chat room as well. So anyway, uh, a lot of people did a lot of work for the anomaly before and during, and uh, great job, everyone. Yeah. Awesome. Congrats, ENL. That is super cool. And uh, so now we sit and wait for the next anomaly to be announced, uh, <laughs> uh, most likely in 2018. So lots of cool stuff in 2018. Um, can't wait. Really close. And let's uh, – oh, yeah. So the map tiles – from uh from Ingress Prime have been changed to OpenStreetMap, the OpenStreetMap.org data. Right. So you can uh, uh you can um switch your uh, you can switch to the is this is this the data um the um the actual data the GPS data uh, that they're using or is this just the tile art? You know, because you can sw- you can switch this if you're using IITC plugin. You can switch to this tile set, right? I I think um, it's the the tiles, the tile. Okay, I would think if so you, because I I don't know if OpenStreetMap actually has their own actual data, right? I and they, they use all, all um, Google Maps. I mean, that data is is theirs, right? Where the portals are and things like that. So oh, right. That's. Uh, they got that from a bunch of, you know, different places. And then as they started getting the portal submissions in, well, they started making their own. So the map tiles are, yeah, from OpenStreetMap now. And I'm not sure if everybody's gotten it yet, but it's rolling out if you haven't. Uh, right. So that's um, probably just a money savings thing, I assume. Yeah, it could be licensing thing. Um, but also they would have to 
uh, update the street data from Google Maps as well at some point because streets close, new streets open, and and things happen. So I, I wonder how how often uh, the the road data, you know, the the map data actually gets updated in Ingress. It's I don't know. I but, guess it's a question for the engineers. But it's that data that they actually use, like in the game. Right, they just show the tiles. They're not actually giving driving directions, so they don't need to know where turns are. And well, right, it if it's just the art, the tiles, then they would still have to update the tiles at some point, or maybe it's live. Right. Maybe it gets pulled live. That would be the smart way to do it. So I don't Suck know. Down one day your cell service. Right. Yeah. One day we'll uh, interview a uh, developer and ask all these juicy questions. Uh, okay, so let's get into um, our sit rep, what we've been doing this week. And um, you, uh, you've been busy this week, last week, I guess. Yeah, I, I mean, I've been trying to hack as much as I can. I, I say as much as I can. I, I've been sick this week, if you can tell. I'm trying to get over a cold, and uh, I'm not sure I'm actually going to be able to make the whole show talking. My throat's been real scratchy, uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll hit the button and uh, shut it down when I start coughing. So you don't have to listen to it, but so I haven't been able to get out as much as I'd wanted to. I wanted to, you know, level because all I'm waiting on is is glyph points, and I'm about 400 away from that. Oof, man! And uh, besides that, I I went out. <coughs> <coughs> There's that cough button. Sorry, I was a little yeah. late on it. I went out <laughs> Friday. I actually uh, took off from work to go and help with uh, the Intel challenge, Hank's global challenge. And mm-hmm. uh, I worked with uh, Butterfly Shadow and Falcar Dekion, which are a couple local enlightened agents who are uh, incredible players. Mm-hmm. And and anyway, we uh, went out and dropped at the blue fields we could. And uh, they actually threw like a 12 layer. I forget how much each layer was like 20, 30,000 each layer. Uh, field and they gave me a couple keys and I, I threw like a 55 K layer field. Sweet. And, uh, we ended up winning our area. Actually, I think our, our local, uh, cell, the resistance was in the negative, I believe because of how we, we worked our plan. So it was really awesome to work with them. Um, I got to meet up with them actually and, and, uh, talk to them for a little bit too during the event. So that was a lot of fun. How about you? What you been up to? You get your nice. you get your uniques. Uh, you had to have got yeah. your uniques. So that was the big thing. So last episode, uh, me and Brent finished the podcast, and I think later that night we uh, we went out to get some uniques. We we drove out to um, a little town nearby uh, and um, and started collecting some stuff. And I drove around as much as I could uh, this week. I did not meet my goal i needed 50 uniques to to uh for for uh to basically to achieve my gold pioneer badge which would allow me to level to 13 so i uh only got 15 15 uniques and and that was uh in you. i mean and that was uh staying in in my town uh, see, I've I've kind of I've drained a lot of nearby cities. There there is a, there's a couple of really good cities that that I I need to drain still. Uh, one of them being Fayetteville up in Tennessee. That would be an excellent one. Decatur. Uh, there's a big park there with like twenty or thirty. I honestly should have went there. It, um. Anyway, so I um you know messed around. It was like I remember three hours got me like five uniques at one point. I was driving around um up on a mountain and I was like, oh, wow, I've never been up here in my own city that I've lived in for decades. And I'm like, huh, this is interesting. And then I found a hospice community, which I was like, wow, this is kind of interesting. There's like three of them there. Anyway, I was driving around to little patches all over town, and I only got 15 and, and burned through about 20 hours um, doing that, and that was really not worth it. You, you could have uh, driven to California and back. In well, day. not in one day. You're right. I could have, but not in one day. I'd say about 20 <laughs> hours spread across me hunting. And uh, uh, anyway, so that was... Um, it was it was really fun though, <laughs> but um, I so I now I have nine hundred and sixty five on my pioneer. I need a thousand, so um, I still need to get out and get some more. Also, I've been doing some a lot of OPR, um, usually daily, 
And um, have you seen they kind of come through yet, there yet. No, I have been. I have been really looking forward to finding our. Uh, if you've seen our video, um, portals, players, and pies, we uh, submitted two or three portal, uh, three, three or four portals. I don't know. I think a lot four. of portals. Yeah. <laughs> over at Pines and Pixels in downtown Huntsville. And I've been waiting to see this thing pop up, and I have not. In fact, they've kind of um, they kind of stopped giving me Huntsville portals to review lately. Um, I've been getting nearby stuff, like in Tennessee and stuff like that. And uh, I, I think it's just because there's so many people doing OPR, and Huntsville is very active, very, very active. Um, there's There's tons of portals, but there's tons of people here, and there's a tons of OPR reviewers here in Huntsville. And... And we empty that queue all the time. Well, but so, that's what I don't get is if I have not gotten a notice, you know, that it's right, that it's live or not live. So is it gone through OPR? Is it into the, that dead spot after it goes through OPR waiting for, you know, someone to pull the trigger right? And, final, and, final review or something. And why does that take so long in, in some places? Do they have their own, like now I'm starting to think they have their own sort of, well, once we get so many portals from this one area, we move on to the next area. Like there's like we we get our limits, right? Which is seven mm-hmm. portals every 14 days. I got to check to make sure that's right every time. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, so I don't I don't know where that is or or how it, there's a ton of uh messages on the the Ingress subreddit about portal submissions probably because of the extra portal submissions they gave over the weekend. And some people get them approved in two days and some six months. So mm-hmm. it's a very big uh, gap there. And it'd be nice to hear why, like what that gap is. I haven't seen it. I log in every day and I look forward to it. <laughs> but um, but that's been going pretty good. I'm still in the good ranking. I've seen, on, uh, in, uh, I've seen some topics on Reddit lately asking why they went from good or great to poor. In, in one day and in, in one sudden swoop and uh and there's a lot of uh, comments saying uh, you know asking like whoa yeah that happened to me too i don't know i don't understand it and um i don't know if they're saying it's a bug or something or if somebody's a, a lot of people are just doing making the wrong decisions when it comes to opr review or portal review um but also um the interesting thing i saw in one of those threads is somebody said that they were part of a group they had a group me a uh, group of opr reviewers so and i was like oh that's kind of an interesting idea actually like get a group of friends and you're all like they review it as a group yeah and it was cross-faction too he said so you're basically able to kind of p- ping questions i guess off of people I, I don't know really i mean the idea of clear communication throughout gameplay and outside of gameplay, even in OPR is just interesting to me. I don't know. I guess there's some things that you could discuss. I don't know. I just thought it was neat. I, that just kind of blew my mind for a second. I was like, Oh, okay. <laughs> so hmm, I don't know. Maybe it's a thing. Maybe hmm. you guys at home would do this and let us know what happens in your OPR groups. I don't know. Um, so, uh, I guess that's about my week. I, I'm gonna, I guess probably go to Fayetteville or go to Decatur somewhere and, and pick up my stuff and I'll let y'all know what happens. Level 13. Oh, and, and of course, ultimately that meant that I got my silver sage badge. Once he, again, the second year in a row, I get my, my silver, um, Next year, though, next year, a guaranteed a gold, right? I mean, it has to be. No, unless you get to 15 or 16, right? Maybe you can go all oh, the way yeah. up. I just go, bam, blow through it. All right, well, let's get into this next segment, y'all. What's in the capsule? Yeah! What is in the capsule? Let's open that sucker up. And there's some old um, old uh, beef jerky wrappers in here. Um, but more importantly, there's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do with those beef jerky, jer- I, jerky wrappers? I don't know how they got in there. But uh, but we got some uh, some cool ideas for the game from uh from us of course but we have we have a submission here from yang hao and i believe he's from china he's uh, contributed a couple of times 
He's, he says, organize missions better. Put the mission art ones in folders so an agent isn't scrolling through all the nearby missions looking for the next part. So, um, so uh, okay, so organizing missions. Yeah, the, the mission art ones it is kind of a weird thing. I, I never truly got into that because I, I always kind of assumed that they would reorder or they would – they would shuffle them around and and make it obsolete, you know. And and like he said, finding the next one in order, uh, it's got to be hard. Like I see some like 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 really big artworks, you know, and yeah. I'm like, wow, that must have really took a long time just to figure out how to just to get them in order. And then you know, if you do one accidentally out of order or something, the whole thing screwed up. Yeah, there's no undo button. <laughs> So, yeah, and, and so it's they almost need two things. One, to have the missions connected like like he's talking about in the actual like selection when you're looking at the missions. Mm-hmm. And why not just go ahead when you finish one that is a group of, of uh, missions, ask you, do you want to start number two? It's, you know, just click yeah. OK. And oh, then, that's true. And the other thing is, is the post part, like once you have the badges, Re- being able to rearrange them how you want. So if you do them out of order, it you can still you can change them around and, and make them work right and, and right. how you want instead of like, oh, I can't ever do a one mission mission anymore because it will mess up all my mission badges. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's nuts. Um, but, you know, since we're getting 2.0 and everything is kind of changing, that all that art might be destroyed. Uh, although in the leaked footage, uh, there were some screens of the, of the uh, profile and they said that they, um, it was exactly how it looks now, basically like no, no difference, but yeah. He he might have said, for now, it looks like this, so it might change. I don't know. Right. And it seems like that's what they're going for is parody, just what they have now with some quality of life uh, fixes, and then yeah. they'll move forward with other actual new features and uh, gameplay changes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that, that'd be good because that'd be a little less overwhelming too for p- players. Be like, oh my god, where did they put this? They moved this, they moved that, and now this does this, and the mechanics have changed. Uh, you gotta ease them into it slowly. Yeah. Okay. So, let, oh, oh, uh, uh, let's um, <clears throat> let's do our uh, our awesome ideas. And I just know that your idea is probably the best idea we've ever heard ever. Uh, well, I was thinking beef jerky. That's probably why it was in the capsule. <laughs> That's a good idea. Awesome. Beef jerky. <laughs> uh, I was thinking an, another mod idea. I'm on a roll of mods, I think, but a mod to <laughs> where you can cloak the portal that the mod is on so that you have to be like really close to it to actually see that it's even there on the map, what's Whoa. on it, and, and stuff like that, maybe to help hide your guardian a little bit or oh. or some some other uh, stuff, but... Not wow. Okay. So, so I don't see it driving through the highway because it's kind of off, off in the road. You know, like how you see, you'll see a card pop up and an arrow, and you're like, oh yeah, way over there. Like I don't know, hundred kilometers or something like that. But if it's on the side of the road and you literally drive past it, maybe you see it. Yeah. But if it's off a little, that card won't pop up. That would be interesting. And it could reduce like how when you have one, you know, level one resonator on it at, compared to like a fully deployed level eight that you see it not as soon. You know what I mean? Like it's harder to see and uh, the graphics are like huge on the big level. Eight. So this one maybe would also reduce that like by a certain percentage. Mm. Almost like how you know you put a um, another bot on there and it increases whatever by whatever percentage. This one reduces that visibility by a percentage. Mm, okay, I dig that. Yeah. What about you? What you got, Mister Soho, Agent Soho? All right, I got. Um, so I want directions to a portal. Um, so if uh, and and this this spawned from driving around town chasing down little single little single portals that I knew that were unique to me, and having to locate them and stuff. There is a navigate too, right? I don't know if a lot of people use it still, but it's like you know you click on a portal and you click navigate too, and it just pings, ping, 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 lets you know if you're close or far. It's like you know uh, Marco. 
Polo. It's like, well, Marco Polo, that doesn't give me directions. I don't know if I should go left or right at this dead end right here, at this T junction. So how about just <clears throat> either either um, have a mode that turns directions on, like voice directions, like, you know, Google Maps does, you know, turn left here, turn right. You know, just use their API. I don't know if that's possible. Or if not, if you, they don't even want to get into that, just have it an option when I when I long press on a portal or just click a portal. I don't know. Instead of navigate to, how about open in Google Maps? That's all you got to do, and then boom, it just opens it in Google Maps, and now I'm free to use their app and do location, direction, blah blah blah, all that junk. Right. That'd and it can awesome. just be working in the background. So um, that I want that in Ingress Prime, please, pretty please. <laughs> yeah. I just think that'd be, help out. Um, uh, like millions of people like driving around like idiots like oh man there's a dead end oh no there's a, a cem- uh, we're in the middle of a cemetery and we're getting attacked by zombies if only we could have opened that in google maps you know yeah so all right then yeah. um I, I like that i like that and uh we have um <clears throat> uh that was it for what's in the castle so send in your what's in the capsule if you have those burning uh, burning idea or a burning sensation. Either way, just send them in and we want to hear them. We don't want to hear about your burning sensation, though, honestly. Oh, well, maybe. <laughs> I love hearing and about burning sensations. You love it? No, no. Um, we'll start a new podcast about that. Um, let's do comms. Comms. Comms, 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 comms. Comms, 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 comms. <laughs> Last week, we got a great um, uh, bumper from JBJ Blaze. We might play it again here in the future. It was really wacky and awesome. So if you want to send a bumper in for any of the segments, feel free. It doesn't matter what it sounds like. We'll probably play it if it's weird and cool and awesome and Uh even dumb. We'll play it. So comms. These are questions, comments uh, from listeners, concerns, if you have a concern. Or we got a uh, review this week on iTunes. So please leave reviews on iTunes. That helps us out. Let's us know if we're doing the right stuff you want to hear on the show as well. And let's other people know, hey, they should come check it out. So thank you to Gummy Bear Ingress. who <laughs> left a uh, uh, comment, said, I would like more resistance voice in it, but oh, well, I'm a blue and I like it. So greens will love it. Love it. <laughs> we'll love it. We'll love uh, it. Thank you. That's awesome. And uh, we we do. We should see if Prandle wants to join in. Yeah, yeah. Come he's around, a dog. he's a cool. He's a good friend of ours, and he's on the blue side. Um. Uh. So that was our first review, right? <clears throat> yeah. Our first iTunes review. That's cool. Keep them flowing. And uh, okay, so I got this. <clears throat> I got sent a message via comms and oh, ingress. Man. Yeah, with a link, uh, no less. I, I, um, sometimes people will ping me in comms and just say, "Hey, I'm just checking out your profile," or "Hey, I dig your YouTube videos; are really cool," or um, "Just thanks for the podcast and stuff." And that's really awesome. I love that. But, um, uh, but he sent in a, a URL to a video. <laughs> I was like, "Oh, I got to go home and check this out." So this comes from Enlightened Agent BFG nine five two seven, and uh, he's enlightened, and uh, so. He sent in this video that's, I don't know if I saw this long ago. I don't, I don't feel like I did, but it's very well done. <clears throat> it's, uh, it's this guy who's uh, walking through a, a city with his face blurred out and he pulls his phone out and it's uh, this AR view of um, what he can see in the city. And it's some, some of the best effects I, I think I've ever seen. It's something that kind of I wanted to achieve it in our own videos. And he looks out um, and uh, 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 throughout the whole city and you can see these actual like portals with their particle effects uh, emitting from, from uh, different portals in the city. Anyway, beyond how cool it is, production value, blah, blah, blah. And it was really neat at the end of the video though. Um, it was up. Uplo- uh, well, okay. At the end of the video, it says ingress prime. Dun, dun, dun. It has the cool logo and stuff. Now that's not, Super interesting. The interesting thing is that it was uploaded in 2014. What? Time travelers? What's going on there? So, 
you know, that was the early times of Ingress. I mean, you know, we we started that year. No, we started in 2013 or 2014. I don't know. I don't know. I don't do years. Or, or maybe I, I did start in that year, 2014. Anyway, and wasn't it beta in 2012? Anyway, so this is like an early thing. So I guess they had the idea for Ingress Prime way back there. I don't know the origins of this video either. And you can find this video in the show notes down below uh, on SoundCloud or YouTube. Or was that like an original name or something? I don't know, right? Like that was the idea. And then they thought, no, let's just drop the prime. And then they thought, hey, we'll bring it back because it's cool sounding. I don't know. Well, and hearing them talk now, it sounds like Ingress came from almost like a test game like hey we're gonna try this proof of concept with ingress Mm -hmm. and so maybe that's the oh well it's it's working people like it let's go ahead and make ingress prime and then maybe people are like well we already got this and it's working let's just keep building off it keep the name and uh it's not ready for ingress prime yet and then now when they finally get to that next stage they go well hey let's do what we were talking about let's do ingress prime i don't know it would be interesting if anybody knows like who was playing back then and knows what uh, the prime comes from back then, or if it was just, just happened to like use that logo, like whoever made the video uh, decided to do that. Who knows? Interesting. And it was yeah. just a, a crazy coincidence. I mean, you know, we've uh, crazy coincidences happen sometimes, but uh, anyway, that's pretty cool. Um, go, go check that video out and I will be um, uh, analyzing um analyzing that uh the uh the graphic uh, idea i mean it it just looks cool and it, it, we have to do something like that ingress 2.0 is coming new storyline all this kind of stuff is i think it's going to allow the asian academy to really kind of pump up and do some like interesting lore videos and some cool like shorts like skits type stuff you know so we'll just see what happens um more beef jerky or some beef jerky always beef jerky oh we have a call in Speaking of beef jerky, do we have a call in? Yeah, it's from Beef Jerky. Let's see what Beef Jerky has to say. <laughs> it's actually John Beef Jerky Blaze. Here it goes. Well, greetings there, agents. This is JBJ Blaze. And with Ingress being rebooted with 2.0, or otherwise now known as Prime, coming out soon, as well as Harry Potter Wizards Unite. Which game of Niantix or Niantix do you think will become the most popular or which one players will most likely unite towards? Ingress, Pokemon Go, or Harry Potter Wizards Unite? For me, the Harry Potter game will definitely hold my most interest because Pokemon Go didn't really have much for me besides my lack of a data connection i stick to wi-fi but i've always been a huge harry potter fan and have always wanted a big harry potter game experience anyway thanks for the great show and bye bye boop (laughs) nice which one do you Uh, think is going to be the winner so to speak or or will there be one well harry potter does sound um like it's it would be kind of widely accepted and popular you know because of the the brand you know because of the the uh the ip i guess you'd say um you know pokemon goes far beyond that uh it it's open to a whole giant world of of movies shows um, toys comics games um just a whole lot more. It has a lot more meat to it, but um, somehow, somehow I have a feeling that, that Harry Potter might, you know, who has movies in a book, right? Oh, it does have a toy line, but I don't know. To me, it it seems like it might really park, right? Theme park. You can't forget that, Uh, which we have visited and uh, we have partaken in the butterbeer experience. So, I don't know. Uh, Something inside me is trying to come out. It's an alien. No, something inside me says um, Harry Potter might might be the the victor here. Um, People just like to run around and be wizards. Wizards! 
Uh, I think Ingress will still continue to be the the kind of more underground, kind of more sophisticated, kind of hidden gem uh, amongst Niantic's titles, uh, which, which isn't a bad thing. I, I just I feel like it's it's um it's kind of more like okay, so you have the risk player, right? He uh, or the Catan or the guy who comes to the to the party with like a game with a billion pieces and you have to sit down and you have to learn for hours. It'll teach you how to play it, but you have a really fun time and you sit up with all your friends for 15 hours playing. And then you have the guy who just brings an Xbox and people sit around and play and they're like, woo, no learning curve, not a lot of pieces. You just plug it in the wall. That's kind of how I feel like, um, all of Niantic's titles are except for Ingress. Ingress is that risk game that you sit down for 14 hours and you learn and it's hard to learn. It's learning curve is crazy. Anyway, th- in my head, that's, that's what Ingress will always be. And that excites me. I love the complicated board games that you have to take a day to learn, you know? So, um, and Harry Potter is that Xbox, <laughs> you know? I guess my analogy is is almost the MMO analogy. Like Ingress is EverQuest, and Pokemon Go is is World of Warcraft, and then Harry Potter is coming out, and it's like Final Fantasy fourteen. You know, so it's all going to depend on how they they create the game, what the game is like, if they if they make a good game, if it's. I, I think, of course, the Harry Potter fans are going to uh, jump all over it. I know. Uh, my daughter is a huge Harry Potter fan, as is is my wife, and I've been trying to get them into Ingress, and they were into Pokemon Go just a little bit, and so they'll definitely jump on that. Like I remember back when Pokemon Go first came out, there was a a fake article about them making Harry Potter Go, and my daughter was so excited, and then she was you know pretty upset when. When uh, I mean, she wasn't super upset, but she was disappointed when it learned out that it was a fake article. So she's Uh. super happy about that. And I think (laughs) it's just kind of something you get from having uh, a game that I mean, Ingress was kind of the first one to be doing what they're doing. And so it's like, get it out there. And of course, the rules may not be all fleshed out and the in game like mechanics aren't going to be as fleshed out. And then Pokemon Go comes out and it's like they've got the graphics. They've got, you know, five years of experience on, on creating these kind of games. They've got the map data. They've got everything to make this game. And of course, it's this huge IP. So blockbuster, boom, like that. Right. And mm-hmm. now Harry Potter is going to come out and it's going to have all the same, you know, I mean, I'm not saying it's going to have the same exact mechanics as Pokemon Go, but they've learned from Pokemon Go. But it hasn't been that long, so it's not like there's going to be super duper many new changes with how things function and and work. Yeah, the rules and and how you and and based off the IP and all that stuff will be, of course, different. But Mm -hmm. I think it's just going to be kind of more of the same kind of like how MMOs at this point are kind of just more of the same. And people are trying to recreate what happened in World of Warcraft with the new ones. So hopefully they don't try that, which they probably will, right? Like, why wouldn't they? Because Warner mm-hmm. Brothers is going to be like, no, let's do what y'all did there because that worked really well and made everybody a lot of money. So let's do that. So we'll yeah. see. Mm-hmm. Let us know what you think. Uh, tweet us. Send in stuff. Call us. Uh, then we also had some comments from last week's episode. The first one here is from a Tristan Trogdor who said, great show, but maybe do the research before the show. Didn't know how many portals you can submit. Didn't know how mods work. Um, and I'll, I'll take the blame for that one. That was um, probably all me. Uh, but it is <laughs> what it is. I mean, we we don't, we can't really do research about everything we talk about on the show because it's live. We mm-hmm. put stuff in our show notes that we want to talk about, but then inevitably we'll veer off onto other tangents and, All I can do is go from what I have read and seen, and there's a lot of data there, and I'm going to get stuff wrong. So I love that you called us out on it. Do it every single time so we can correct that data. We actually got a really good link in our our Telegram channel um, about um, some it's a calculator and stuff. So uh, we'll share that as well, that link. 
and uh, let you know how to calculate stuff and the portals. So it's seven every 14 days. Yeah. So yeah. I, I, uh, I like the, um, uh, the honest criticism too. No, nothing's worse than putting, putting some content on the internet and everybody says, yeah, that's awesome. That's great. That's uh, I love it. love it. Love it. It's like, um, is it really like, you know, like, like tell us really, really honestly, like let us know. But, but also, uh, um, in, in our defense, we, um, so there we, is no defense. <laughs> we, uh, we, we've covered a lot of different, um, big topics in our life, um, podcasting, um, in our career for decades now, like for a long time. And, and we, we don't pretend to, to be the masters of, of a subject, we we know that we will become a master of the subject if we live and breathe the content. And if we waited, um, bef- uh, if we waited before we started creating the show to learn everything there is to learn, then it's too late. You know what I mean? So right. learning everything is to live and breathe the subject, and that's what we do every day, every week. And and so so that's kind of what what um I, I think is is probably the thing to take away is to don't wait to be the master Le- learn learn with everyone right like you you guys teach us and we'll teach back you know everybody here here is is learning that's what the academy is all about it's like it's just a place to learn um you know about the game we should have like a tips and tricks segment we've never really Discuss that, I don't think, but I mean, we've, we've kind of done it in the past on other podcasts and I ha- have a tip this week. Yep. I just, and I don't even know, like this may be like, everybody knows this except for agent Goonie guy. <laughs> but so like when you're attacking something, zoom in, <coughs> double pinch and zoom in. And it's, it's much easier to get like your 20% when you can see when the circles coming in. Right. You can see things and see where the resonators are so you can move on top of the right ones if you need to. So zoom in because it will always put you at like that far is look kind of when you first attack. So anyway. Right. So so you're a zoom in kind of guy when you do when you do the the burst uh, to get it. See, I'm, I'm zoom concentrating out. on one, yeah. Okay. It makes it easier. I th- I think. See, I think it's the timing. I'm a zoom out guy. Like I, I like zooming in for certain reasons, but w- w- to nail that 20% or that 19 or 18, I have to zoom out. And I guess you could probably watch the videos where I do it because I, I'm doing it and not really thinking. I'm just doing it fast and I'm recording the screen. So, um, but I think I've learned my timing only at one zoom level. Mm. So once I achieve that zoom level, I my timing is impeccable every time. Boom, 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 boom. Because, you know, it's just, gets in your head but uh, but if you're zooming in and you're learning that timing that's it, you know that's that's perfect so that's awesome and we got a tip from nag suit and in, in uh, the chat room we'll save it for next week <laughs> no yeah tip of the week tip of the week Just tip of the morning tip. to you uh no let's do it now why All not right. let's do it now tip uh, on Android, you can cancel linking and fielding by hitting the back button. Played three years without knowing. <laughs> so uh, without canceling the, the, the animation is what he's saying. So you um, throw a link. See, I, I knew that. Um, and I generally do it without even thinking. And I'm kind of like, you know, throw a link, hit back. I just uh, automatically. And a lot of times I don't have... A lot of time to spend like you know maybe i'm in a car and i'm not driving someone else's and i'm but we're approaching a portal and i have to quickly see what links are available oh my god i have two that are really good links link back link three clicks real fast right um but yeah that is a good tip though um and there's no back button on iphone so i i guess you wouldn't be able to do that right can you hit the the soft back though like you know the back that ingress provides on the top i wonder uh maybe i don't know uh, i don't know i have to try <laughs> but anyway good tip good tip we and, also uh, have comments from uh, last week's episode from i'm das boot regular listener where are you normally in the chat room probably busy out fielding yeah. <laughs> it says a town in uh, ks has a cop that plays and is enlightened so hmm. kansas city it's one is of those it, or kansas 
So it's a cop that's green? One of those rare enlightened cops. That's unheard of. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, you go. You go, green cop. That's awesome. <laughs> And, uh, okay, so we have more comments on the uh, previous show here from Frank Smith. Every player I know has a backpack account. The GPS drift is not your fault or doing so. You shouldn't be, you shouldn't worry about it. Uh, oh, so, um, I was talking about, um, my GPS drifting and, and, uh, sitting on a portal, even though I was miles away from it. And I, um, I, uh, captured the portal even though i wasn't in anywhere near and i was like oh my god this is good no i didn't get banned so he's <laughs> like so that was the con- that was his his uh, response was you know it's not your fault you shouldn't worry about it <laughs> i mean you know it's i don't know maybe maybe we won't see that anymore with prime anyway he says i hate glyph hacking <laughs> okay <laughs> and then i hope they get rid of it in 2.0 so i don't know about that i mean it's <laughs> It's it's the only mini game they have, right? Right, they always need more, buttons. right? Right, they need they totally need more. It's just a button click in game unless you I mean the glyph hacking I, I just don't I don't know, why would you hate it? <laughs> I well, mean, I think once you start learning kind of some tricks around um remembering the glyphs, whether it's actually learning the names like as soon as I learn the name and I really know that name, like human, like I know exactly what it is, right? Yeah. And then I can make this sentence when I when I'm reading them out, and it's much easier to remember. Instead of doing like you know bow tie and an L because there's like five L's. <coughs> so it's like if you don't know the actual names and you make up your own names, it's actually I think more difficult because they don't make sense. Where the mm-hmm. sentences that they make normally in the glyph hacking make sense, right? There, there's like, you know, past, present, future, you know, things like that that go together. Mm-hmm. As well as if you look, a lot of the glyph patterns actually work together. Like you'll notice that, that like the actual glyph will start the next one on the same line and things. So if you kind of get all these little tricks in order as you start looking at them and remembering how they are, it gets a lot easier. And it's, it's almost, now fun i think once you get into that mode where you're like you don't have it perfect but it's close so it's like exciting to get a you know your fives a lot in a row and things like that right yeah and and it's actually an old memory trick a memory hack if you will is to convert words to pictures you know um a lot of uh a lot of people do this uh, actors and uh you know remembering lines in a script or uh, presenters or um scientists i don't know um it's just a memory trick that's been used for hundreds of years i guess but this is using it in reverse it's turning pictures into words and i think that was brilliant that they added a word so that you can consciously remember uh a pattern so um so i think that's that's perfect yeah and when i started doing that i didn't start doing that right away i think one of my friends here told me hey you should really kind of learn the the words along with it. So then I'm just like, Oh yeah. Portal. Right. You know, Oh, actually it, at the beginning, we started kind of making up our own words and, and probably a lot of people do that. It's like, you know, funky hat, man, goatee, uh, you know, uh, long leg, you know, it's like you make up your own things, but, and that's okay. But learning the actual word is just more beneficial. Right. Like what's big bow tie, big bow tie. Uh, oh yeah, with like, the, what's the real uh, word for it, right? And then there's bow tie, and then big bow tie. Oh yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. The bow tie. And the then little, there's Harry um, Potter, like <laughs> there's backwards Harry Potter. Like I have all these names that, that, but I'm slowly trying to integrate in the real names into the like all the ones I have, right? Uh, made up for all of them. Like there's really huh. so many sickles. And you're like, upside down sickle, left sickle, right sickle. I don't know which one it was. Sickle. Oh, man. That's funny. Yeah. The um, the vertical uh, bow tie is harmony. I know that. The big bow tie is idea. And uh, the small one, does anybody know what the small bow tie is? You're reading this off a list, aren't you? I am. <laughs> <laughs> I see it in your glasses. <laughs> and, and you know, and you know what? what? What the small bow tie is truth. So I was being truth. truthful. I am looking all this up, and you can see in my glasses. 
the truth is out there. Okay. Um, what is next? We have one the more. X-Files uh, game. Yeah. I play, I play that. Some UFO action. <clears throat> so, and also about that, uh, everybody player I know has a, a backpack account. Is that true? Is everybody? Oh. I, I, uh, <coughs> Should we I talk know. about that? on? Let's talk about it on a future show. Let us know what you think about yeah. backpack accounts in general. <laughs> uh, and we'll tell you what we think about it. So this last one here from Alex Higgins says, my wife plays regularly, but does, doesn't does laugh hick, hick, hack. So she usually is low on gear, especially if she didn't play much that week. And I'm getting full on gear, so I'll give her gear. Is that against TOS? And no, of course not. That's exactly what they want you to do. Yeah. I think. Uh, yeah, I, I think they fine. Level six gear and below and put it in capsules when when they're full. I drop them for a buddy. Uh, is that against a TOS violation? And I think it comes down to simply one account, one person. So if you're giving gear, dropping it for someone else, giving it to someone else, giving keys, whatever. If it's another real person, it's not against the TOS. I mean, that's just that's what they want you to do is get out there and 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 work with other people so it's it's absolutely you're okay there for sure yeah um what what do you think about the dropping of items do you think they should keep that for prime or do you think you should be able to uh directly transfer items to a to a person to another agent like if they're right next to you um no just anywhere in the world you want you think that would probably cause a disruption yeah i think maybe not if you removed keys from that, but I think yeah. being able to pass keys off across the world. Yeah. Would disrupt the game. I think. Right. Yeah, you're right. I wasn't thinking about keys, but you're, you're, you're absolutely right. There would be so many links and fields then because people on islands would be like, here you go. Boom. You know, throw it way out here, and then yeah, that would be ridiculous. And blockers. Yeah. Hey, everybody! You know, you get on your your channel, whatever you use to communicate with your org, and say, "Hey, everybody, throw me your keys because I'm going to starburst from this portal." And just whatever works, I'll just start, you know, throwing the links. All right. Something like what I mean, if, so crazy weird stuff you could do. What if they did that for a day or a weekend, a little s- short I mean, event? I think that'd be fun. It might destroy ingress in the long run well i mean if you're able to <laughs> oh that's true because you would have it afterwards you would have it for a long time after you could send somebody a hundred oh, portal uh you could give people i don't know north korean keys i don't know but uh yeah yeah okay so dumb idea never mind <laughs> nah it's it's fine idea there's no dumb ideas eric there is no dumb only ignorant Oh, is that? No. Okay, so the next one. Uh, so we don't have Andy. Um, Andy uh, went to the Anomaly, obviously, and he was up on stage announcing Prime and all that good stuff. So there's no but, um, there's no AMA. But. But. There's a but here. Andy's uh, but? Andy was super nice to, A, give us a, a bumper <coughs> that we weren't uh, able to play today. Unfortunately, we're still working on it. But he also gave us some codes that were given out to people that um, call in and leave content on the uh, SpeakPipe number. So go to the speakpipe.com slash Asian Academy and leave a question or comment about this episode or any other episode. And we will pick uh, multiple uh, people, maybe all of them until we're out of codes. So you should you should uh, do that. But definitely uh, JBJ Blaze will be sending you a code. Uh, hopefully we have your email somewhere. If not, we'll we'll tweet it to you or something. So leave your email in the speak pipes too. We won't use it for anything but sending you these codes. We promise. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, and in uh, January, well, maybe later than January. We're still working on the actual date date, but uh, Andrew has agreed to be on the show, so he's going to be on the show as well as. Uh, the Incredible Hulk, aka Colin. Yay! So we'll, we're getting that timing set up uh, with him as well. So we're looking for other people to interview and talk with and just talk ingress. So that is awesome. Yay! Yeah, our future is bright, and um, 
that's it. So that's it for the show. And uh, yeah, send us stuff. Send us stuff. Stuff, stuff, stuff. And maybe next week we'll have more um, more information about Prime. I don't know. Just keeps on leaking. Keeps on a leaking. Yeah. And if beta starts happening, uh, oh boy, oh boy, beta will be super cool. And uh, of course, you know all the ways to contact us. So do it, do it, do it, do it. And we'll we'll go around and collect the comments and questions and put it on the show for next week. That's right. And, uh, and uh, <clears throat> get out there and submit portals, and then uh, and or s- review portals. Mm-hmm. There, that's your thing. That's your homework. I mean, you were probably going to do that anyway, but um, do it more. Do it harder. <laughs> All right. So, and that's it for the show. So we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.